Quinn Snyder on the win. Be a game plan, obviously, coming into a game like this, but obviously when, when you're on the road and you execute, how effective was that in terms of you guys ex executing the game plan you possibly had? You know, I just was wanted us to, to compete, you know, and there's some things that we've been trying to do that, you know, we wanted to do more of, you know. We, we, they're, they're a hard team for us to defend. Um, they're really physical, and they're even harder to score against. So um, I, I thought one of the keys for us was, you know, I think second actions and moving the ball, and that's hard to do when you got Bam switching and pick and roll and, you know, spreading out in front of you, and it's, it's not easy. Um, but I think our guys kind of, you know, we stayed together um, and we'll continue to kind of, wasn't always pretty, but we, we kept playing and kept executing and trying. And I think over the course of the game that, that paid off for us. This might be the same thing, but why is Sadiq a good fit here and how does he change this team from what it was before he got here? You know, I, I love Sadiq and, and I agree with everything you said, you know, um, I, I think our team itself, you know, we have to look at this group as a team. And there's a lot of singular players on a team, but the strength of this team, you know, is, is becoming even more of a team. That's that's what we want to do. And that, that you know, that that's what, you know, we want our play to demonstrate, you know, and Sadiq um, does that. So sometimes guys that are, you know, they, they can have an impact on the group. One of the things he does is he shoots. He shoots threes, um, and that's something, you know, John's shooting more threes, and DJ came out and shot more threes today. And it's not that there's an obsession about threes, but if you're open, it's a good shot, you know, and, and sometimes giving yourself permission to do that. And he does that, which I, which I think helps us. Um, and the other thing is he just plays hard. <laughs> you know, he's going to the offensive class. He's a competitive guy, and uh, you can never have too much of that. Um, coach, on a more personal note for you, after all the changes you've seen this season coming into a new team, clinching a playoff berth, how significant is that for you moving forward on a more personal note? Yeah, you know, not to diminish the, you know, the game tonight, I, I think, you know, for me, it, it's consistent with what I've tried to say about a group. You know, I mean, I just want to coach and that's what I'm getting to do right now. That's what I love doing. And sometimes it, it's a lot of different things. Um, this has been a group that, you know, I feel they've, they've, they've supported me and I've tried to support them and they've listened and, you know, tried to execute and you get that type of effort and commitment. You know, you can't ask for a lot more than that as a coach. And, you know, that's always an enjoyable part. Quinn, what have you seen from Boston in the short time you've been in Atlanta? Obviously Sunday really doesn't matter as a bunch of backups but you know your reserve guys oh, but I thought you're saying that when do we play Saturday Saturday okay. I'm talking about last Sunday God, I know I, was gonna, yeah. I thought we yeah. played okay got Sorry. you oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it matters <laughs> uh, what, what did you what have you seen from them and what kind of challenge will they present you they're really connected offensively and you know I think it's more than them just having like a lot of weapons I think they really they, they have a feel for, for one another and, and how they play together. Um, and that you, you can see that the way they play. I mean, they, they're, their reads are terrific, and they've got a lot of guys that can make plays, and they want to do that for one another. Makes them really, really hard to guard. Um, you know, I think their versatility defensively, you know, is unique also. You know, some of the different lineups they can put on you know, I don't know who the defensive player of the year will be this year, but I know Marcus Smart, you know, like I have tons, tons of respect for him. You know, I just think he's one of those guys that is, is a heartbeat and um, they're, they're just really good. And, and Joe's done a terrific job. I mean, he doesn't need to hear that from me, but, you know, having a chance to see, you know, their group, I've gotten to know him a little bit and, uh, you know, they've done, they've hit a lot of marks this year. You know, so we're going to have, it's going to be hard, but it's the playoffs. Quinn, a couple, I know it's not fair to compare one team to another, but a couple of years ago, a lot of the guys on this group now came in here and they got up six or eight with a minute to go and they started celebrating and they got just run out of the building the rest of the way and got crushed in overtime. This was a very professional win. 
tonight, it seemed like. Where, where, where are you seeing as far as the, the maturation of, of the group? Yeah, it's, it's hard for me to speak to, you know, what, what's happened um, in, in any situation. Um, last year for me, last year for them. Um, you know, this is, this is about us right now today. Um, you know, and I, I think you know, guys have, have worked and tried and committed to, you know, doing some things, whether it be defensively or running or all those, you know, those things that you try to emphasize that, um, you know, I, 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 I want to catch ourselves and say it's one game. And, and I think, you know, you, you got to do it for a while and you got to do it consistently until it becomes who you are. Um, but I'm really proud of our, our team and the way we played tonight.